All right, there's a show on Fox 5. It's called Domino Masters. One of the contestants lives here, and here she is right here. You're going to see her tonight at 9 o'clock on Domino Masters. This is Farah Bajwa. Hi, everyone. Now, there's a, hi, welcome to town, by the way. You're Thank new to you. San Diego. Yes, yes, I'm a very new neighbor. Right on. Uh, <laughs> welcome to town, and let me know if there's anything you need as far as like which restaurants to go or Oh, whatever. yes, please. Okay, so you are, you know, there's there's 16 teams, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, a, what, what would you compare the show to? It, it's a bracket style elimination competition. Well said. <laughs> that's a lot better than I would have said, it, that's for sure. Okay, so you're one of the 16 yes. teams. That on each team, there are three people. Have yes. you ever put together dominoes before? Well, when they contacted me for the show, um, and they're like, we, we, we contacted you because we saw that you did the athlete machine for Red Bull, mm -hmm. and that was a kluge, and we were looking for people with kluge experience, but have you done dominoes? And I'm like, well, sure. I mean, I, right? I have, I was, that's I have what I thought you were gonna, home. I thought you were going to bring, show, and, show Tricky that. That's what I thought you were going to bring, too. I play dominoes. <laughs> and so they're like, no, 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 no. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about domino art and domino toppling, not just, you know, the old school style of playing dominoes. It has come a long way. It's yes. like real life digital animation art, but it's, it's real it's life. It's so pretty. It's the, beautiful. The, the stuff they come up with. In fact, you built something already for us over here. Yes, so this is a domino field. Um, it was something just very, very basic and simple. And okay. you'll see what it spells out once we topple it together. Oh, we can topple it together. Yes. Is it time? Because I kind of, it's like I felt like I just built, no, you just built a sandcastle, like a really <laughs> beautiful sandcastle, and now it's time to knock it down, but I, I kind of hesitate. Why? I don't know. Let no, me, let's no, do this. feel free. And I can help? Yes. Sweet. All Whenever right. you're is, ready, is just. Is there a trick to the topple? No, you just knock one down. Whenever Be you're ready. Because I will miss. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so how did you design that? And on the team, is sort of your role more of a project manager? So with our team, um, me and my teammates, we all have aerospace and engineering experience. So we, um, we kind of covered basically all the roles together, the, the, from the designs to the, the kluge elements, the chain reaction elements, mm -hmm. to the, the domino stacking and, and toppling as well. Um, so we, we helped each other out okay. through the whole thing. It's kind of a, everybody puts in their strengths exactly. and you end up with a pretty good product. Exactly. I would think that your mindset is critical. With oh dominance. yes, you because you're gonna fail. There's going to be a time. This is what the whole show is about, right? Regardless whether you're a novice or a seasoned domino stacker, you will have an accidental topple. How this does that? Is, how do you deal with that? How long does it take to put together? How long did it take to put together that? Well, something as simple as this. I mean, it could have taken between ten to fifteen oh. minutes. <laughs> but uh, you know, for example, the 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 field that I did for for our episode on Domino Masters tonight. Mm -hmm. um, that ended up taking around two hours. Oh. Yeah. Well, I want to ask, <laughs> how did it all turn out? Did everything topple correctly? But I don't think you can answer that, right? I Am don't right? want to spoil the show for you. You're yeah. going to have to watch tonight. So the mindset, uh, I just, you know, this is such a big, yes, tonight at 9 o'clock, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to um, uh, record. That's going to be after my bedtime. Uh, the the whole you know to kind of bring in the audience to what you're doing. You're so you're you're a gigantic brain. I call that a, a you've got a JB, a gigantic brain. That's my little joke inside joke of, of like you know silliness. But you really have a track record of excellence. You know when you Thank come you. into something like this and there's a domino out of place. How do you handle that? And I want oh. the kids at home to listen because I know my, my aunt, who's a basketball coach, said that high school kids are getting super stressed out. They want to be perfect all the time. Yes, but that's and not how it works. Especially as an engineer, everything has to be. I'm a little bit type A. I pretend to be a little well, type A. Well, you have to be. People will die if a but, bridge collapses or. And you know. so you have to make a judgment call. Is it so out of place that you have to do something about it, or is it time to just let it go and it's good enough? Um, and then because see, dominoes see what happens. require a calm mind, a steady hand, and a lot of patience, and scotch tape as well. Scotch but, tape? Yes. Um, huh? How so? That's, that's our little secret that we use in order to be able to control certain dominoes from flying out. You control their direction by taping them down in certain places so that they, could, so that they move in the direction you want them to. You just take a little piece, roll it up. Like um, that, put it on the bottom. It's like a hinge. You use it like a hinge. You can roll oh, it up. Oh, 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 okay, got it, got so it. So we use tape 
to make to use them as a protection so that certain segments don't topple unintentionally, mm -hmm. and other times you use them as hinges to control the direction of motion. Man, I want to be on your team. <laughs> I'm the, well, I'm the captain of your fan club. How about that? Nine o'clock tonight. Chrissy. Thanks for being here. How cool. Thank I was going to build a little sunshine with the pink ones over there. Oh, you're more than welcome but to. I got too interested in hearing what you have to say, so I'll, <laughs> I'll do that during the commercial break or over the next three hours, however long it will take me to do that. All right, Farrah, good luck tonight, and thank you thank for being you here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Very cool, Christina. Back in the studio with you.